Hello everybody, my name is Jeremy, and welcome back to Imposter Factory. Uh, I adjusted some audios in the first three videos, but I'm a little bit quiet. Um, sorry about that, I got excited for the game, I didn't really like properly test everything audio was. I think it's a little bit better now, if not, let me know. <coughs> As I cough really loud into the mic now, probably. So I turned on my mic and turned down the music the game a little bit, but, um, so yeah, Imposter Factor, we're, we're back into it today, um, if I was, remember, if my memory serves me correctly, because you guys, there, there's, at this point, there's three parts, and I've played the first three parts all in one day, so, and then now I'm finally getting back to it, because I wanted to back off for, for a little bit, um, oh my gosh, okay, so, we travel, that we're, we're still traveling back in time. It's, it's, it, we're, we're doing the jobs, and first of all, for, first and foremost, there's still no Neil and Eva. Like I'm like, okay, where are they at? But we, we travel back in time, and we actually finally get to see what like that special surprise is at that party, and it's a uh, it's like a prototype of the machines that's used by Sigmund Corp. So the, the so I'm starting to think that. This third installment is actually actually a prequel. Like this is before like Neil and Eva actually got there, so that's like oh that's super cool. But we're traveling back in time and going through. We we don't really know yet. And the difference is we used to like we were used to going back in like life, but it's data. That's 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 different too. So there, there's a lot of different things going on. We learn more about Linry and Quincy's relationship. Apparently Quincy and Linry were a thing and then I guess they're still a thing like, like, like it feels like they didn't travel too far back in time but Quincy's still a thing but Quincy that we were playing is still like an imposter or like not the real Quincy so it's like there, there is a lot to unpack so let's let's get back into this here <laughs> okay so we just came from the party I believe no Yes. It's been a while. It's been about a week. No, like, Jeremy, are you still sick? No, I'm not sick. It's lingering cough. Okay, so it looks like Quincy and Lindry moved in together. Whew. That's the last box. I hate moving. Told you we'd get everything here by tonight. Hey, what is it? Are you sure about this? Oh. Moving all the way here with me because of my job? You had arrangements back home too, didn't you? Well, yeah, but nothing like this. <coughs> I mean, you Haynes Foundation? Whatever you do there, I'm sure it'll be cutting edge. Still. Hey, it's okay. I know how much this means to you. And don't worry, I'm sure I'll figure something out for myself here, too. Thanks, Quince. I'm glad you're here. Of course, I promised I would. Anyhow, let's just settle down and let you get some rest. Can't have you sleepwalking on your first day tomorrow. Hmm. So apparently I moved in together. The Yu Haynes is the two doctors that I guess made the uh the machine. Uh the machine for Sigma Core, which now is for Sigma Core, but at least that's what I think it is. I don't think he actually said it like Sigma Core bought the rights or whatever, but <coughs> can't go with this cough. Been like a week, two weeks. No, I don't. I'm coming. So nothing. Nothing. Okay. So I did just go that way. Let me go back. Make sure I'm not going to run missing anything here. Well, there's two places. Let's go this one first. 
Let's go this way. That one looks like it's out. Let's go this way. There we go. The legendary spare room. It could be anything. It could be a study room. Or a pinball room. Hey, Glitzy. I like it. With bookcases over there. Or a mini golf room. Could be. And finally, get a desktop computer over here. Or a throne room. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, I can get that So, the, yeah, the legendary spare room. Bedroom. The good old mattress again. Why does it feel like going from one dorm to another? Hmm. It's kind of cozy if you ask me. Makes me think of camping. You've never really gone camping before, have you? Not exactly. <laughs> you can take an air mattress. I take an air mattress camping. It's fine. It's all good. Let's go out this door. The bathroom. This reminds me... At the mansion today, they literally had a golden toilet. <laughs> literally. 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 Wow. They really need to sit on gold to take a dump. Yeah. Alright. It's morning already? Okay. How do I look? Well, I don't mean to alarm you, but there's a person attached to your hair bud. And she looks kick ass. I'll be back by supper. Go on, you're gonna do great. Okay. Guess we'll have the door. <coughs> <coughs> Oh, right to the mansion. Oh. Wow, is that a real fox? No, it's just a sentiment sentient fox tail. Of course it's a real fox. Why won't it come out? It's a real shot fox. The others have already arrived. Rico waits for you inside. <coughs> I'll go find her, thanks. Man. Coughing up all in y'all's ears today. To be fair, I just woke up at 6 a.m. Haven't really got to take a really good breath yet. <coughs> Uh, why is this all black over here? Okay, so I guess all this memory isn't... Completed, maybe? Oh, there she is. Where is everybody? Mill said that they'd already arrived. They've already gone to the lab. Oh no, am I late for the com commute? Quite. Oh. Come aboard. Well, I'm coming aboard. I'm coming aboard. Going down. Wow, that's pretty neat. Cool headless helmet. 
It's starting to sound pretty. Oh. Oh, what's a lab down here? Welcome to Yu Hang's Foundation. Look, she's like, damn! This is just one of several branches of our core development centers. As you might guess, it's also one of the most discreet. Wow, this whole place. I knew there was something off about this place. And this robot. I knew it. It was never just a rice cooker, was it? The rice cooker is on the loose again! <laughs> hey, get back here! The chef slip it down the shaft again. I swear I'm gonna... It's a rice cooker. <laughs> it's just a rice cooker. Okay, she's so disappointed. Oh, man. Come. I'll give you a tour. Even Quidditch is like, what the... I want to I want to taste around the rice cooker. I want the rice cooker. Oh. Not you. No, the project you will be working on is only one of several that we're pursuing here. But psst, psst, it's my favorite. Rice bot. Except for you, rice bot. Shall we show? Linry, her station? Sure. The, fa the facility is in, the ma in maintenance, but Dr. Clegg is there as we speak. Also, take Rice Bot back upstairs, will you? Of course. Rice Bot. So let's see if I can, like. Would you like rice? I Why is he the only one that sees me? Not now, not now dear, but thanks. Okay. I'd like some rice, rice bot. I'd like some rice. <laughs> oh man. The rice bot actually lets me interact with it. Okay, so I'll just make it sure. Because sometimes, like, is she looking at me? No. And the human to machine interfacing? Not as much progress. We're still fo focusing on stub data. We've got some new hires on that front. I hope we'll make progress soon. <clears throat> oh. If only I could use CTRF on the printout, all the printouts. Okay, so this mansion is really just a huge hideaway for a huge lab. Okay. Oh! There you go. Dr. Louis Craig should be there. He arrived at residence here a few days earlier. I believe you've already met at the party. I remember. Let's go, right spot. Not yet. Not yet. Can I play this thing? <coughs> no. Let's go for this one. Cafeteria and receptional, recreational room. The chefs send meals down the shaft th thrice a day. Just give them your order. I thought it was strange that there were three chefs here. Nice little. Oh, can we play this? Boo! I think he might be hungry. Can I get some of this? Red Chef's cooking is the best, I'm telling you. No way, Yellow Chef is clearly better. They have names, you know. Uh, yeah, what are they again? I don't know, but they have them. It's all, it's all I'm saying. Uh, 
Alright, 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 alright. There's really nothing much there. Oh, there's this way. Okay. Here's the res residence for on site collaborators. If things go well, we might invite you for a room here. Thanks, but I've already got a place elsewhere. Oh, that way, it's dark right now. Something else really. I'm sorry, let's go. No, no, it's that way, okay. <coughs> Gosh! Well, let's go ahead and go down this way. I don't want to. I still need to go this way, but let's wait. That seems like it's a whole other area. This might just be a continuation down here. Poopy. I have to go the other way first. This is the map. There we go. Of course, it's an honor to have you here. Thank you, I'll do my pet. Dr. Haynes, are you still there? Excuse me. I'm here. Regarding the contract, it's not in our interest to fund the project without a say on the board. The board is not the only way to have the say, Mr. Armstrong. You should go meet Dr. Yu in the West Wing. She's in charge of the research team. The board is not the only way to have a say, Mr. Armstrong. Hmm. <coughs> so I'm guessing part of the issue is just thinking back on the game. Someone kills the doctor, so I'm also in the process of trying to figure out who did that. But now I can. Oh, this guy who was hitting on one ring. So, fresh doctored, huh? To be honest, I was surprised when I saw you at the party the other day. But to actually see you here. Dr. You said my paper has been helpful to the project. I'll try my best to apply my findings. Your paper? I've read your paper. No offense, there's nothing there that she didn't know already. What do you mean? What they had done here. I've de deconstructed it. There's no way that they've made it all this progress without having already known about your findings. Dr. you and her team must have already figured it all out years ago. Years ago? But then, why were their findings not published? Are you serious? This isn't some purest ac academia spreading knowledge for the betterment of humanity. I'd say money, but the interest groups involved are a lot more complicated than that. Regardless, look. If you're looking to make a difference in the world, this is still the place. It may be a while before the public gets a taste, but here... Here is where it all starts. She wants to make a difference in the world, but this place is all about the money. And this thing looks crazy, whatever this thing is. And there's like a little conveyor belt looking thing here. Crazy. Now this guy I'm not really trusting, because you try to hit on Winry. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. It's Quincy's. It's Quincy's girlfriend. Oh. No. Okay, let's keep going. 
Alright, so... Oh, goodness gracious. Alright. We're going to study. She's going to work every day. She's learning. Working a lot with this dude, which I'm like... Mm. Thank you again for having me here. I'm learning so much already. Fitting in well, I take it. I'll introduce you to the main project on Monday. But do keep the confidentiality in mind. I'll be ready. home. Hey, how was work? Not bad for a first week. I think I'm getting a hang of it. What you making there? Oh, just you wait. For the most amazing carrot cake you'll ever eat. breakfast and food, and she's going to work and learning, okay, apparently a cat did something, and it's like, oh god, okay, well, I'm pretty sure I found the issue, mind staying a bit longer to run some tests, sure, I'm here to help, okay, just stay a little bit longer, don't like that, don't like that at all, that's all right. Hey, it's a job. It's a job. It's a job. Hope she's helpful. Hey, sorry I'm back late. Everything okay? Yeah. There are always issues to fix, but we'll get through. Of course. They got you. I'll go heat up dinner. Okay, so... Working hard, he's here, you know, cooking meals and getting her ready, and she continues to work and, and work, work hard, chasing her dreams, trying to better the world. <clears throat> the interface module is still behind schedule, although we are making progress. But the investors are expecting a demo. Are you sure it'll be ready by the next visit? Yeah, we'll make it. By the way, have you thought more about the residence to offer, Lin Linry? We even have a vacant room ready for you. Everything would surely be easier than that way. Mm, I'm really, like, getting, like, not good vibes for where this is going. Sorry I'm so late again. I had to... spending time there and chasing her dreams and trying to better herself. Well, regulations be damned, but progress is progress. Still. You sure you want to demo this next week? <clears throat> yes. It's an honor, really. It's come a long way. I'm glad I could be part of this. today. Is this the Eiffel Tower? Is this his birthday? What is this? What is today? <coughs> Something special, but he's not.
living at the campus on your own? But we've got this place. I haven't agreed to it yet. Well, you're seriously thinking about it? I mean, it'd only be for a while. That's what you said about working late. And now it's every night. I know, it's just... We're doing something amazing, Quince. And we're so close. This could change the world. This is what I've always wanted to do. Look, I know I haven't been around for us as much as I should. I'm sorry about that. But I thought we both knew what I had to do from the start, didn't you? You said you understood and that you'd give me a reason to keep going. That you'd bring me the world to see so I can stay and do this. I know it sounds selfish, but I've never asked for it. I never would have said yes if I knew it wasn't what you really wanted. Of course I wanted to. I wouldn't still be here if, I, if it weren't. I meant what I said. I've been trying so hard to do just that. It's just... I just thought we'd still be able to have more than just... this. I know I said that I'd bring you the world, but... I guess at some point, I still wanted to see the world with you, too. And now, it all just feels farther and farther away. This isn't really fair to you, though, is it? I guess I don't know what I was really expecting. I'm sorry. I really can't stay and talk more about this right now. I'm already so late, and we're supposed to be presenting our progress to the investors today. <clears throat> but, we'll talk about this later, okay? Yeah. I mean, it's one of those things like, you know, in those certain situations, you gotta let, you know, you gotta let someone chase their dream. And this is her dream, and she's chasing it 100%. But I feel for Quincy, too, because, you know, he really wants to spend a lot of time with her. You know, be there, but I guess he just thought, it would be a little bit easier and have his life and everything. And, you know. So, it just feels, uh, I feel like I've lived this life. <laughs> but, you know, I mean, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta let her chase her dream. You know, that's her dream. She's making a difference in the world. This is what she's always wanted to do. You know, so, I'm just worried about Louie. Like being that dude, to like, oh, you can stay, you know. He, she fall in love with him because she just spends all her time with him, you know. That's what I'm worried about. Oh, 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 God, what is this, <clears throat> Louis? What? Hey. What's happened here? The premises is closed. Are you affiliated? I work here. Linry! Al, what's going on? Was that... Louis? It didn't work. The investors were already here, and we were waiting, and... So Louis, he did the demo in your place, but they wanted a live test. He did the demo in my place. He did the demo in my place? Dr. Haynes and Dr. Yu are still inside talking with the others. They said. Linry, wait. What happened to Louie? Now I don't want the, I didn't want the guy to die. the guy to die. <clears throat> I just want to leave her alone. <laughs> but 
what good is a memory interfacing machine if it kills the user? We don't know of that for sure. It's just one failed attempt. Well, good luck with more attempts under all the regulations this is going to trigger. We are under the radar. We can get around those. No, you were under the radar. Yeah, and now you're like, totally over it. Either way, if there's a fundamental incompa incompatibility with writing the memories, that surely doesn't bode well for the core of the project. Oh, you bunch are so pessimistic. <laughs> oh, you bunch are so pessimistic. I thought I was a preacher. Haven't you heard of pivoting? Let's not lose our heads over a little setback. How is this a little setback? Yeah, what even is the point of a memory interfacing if they die in the process? Well... Winry! Wait, Linry! Oh, she got scared because she thought her machine killed somebody. Or what she was working on. So, this makes you think that... Okay, so, if the ones that you know, if, if you've seen the other um, To the Moon series, the machine itself is reserved for when people are passing away. So... You know, they, they go back and change your memories to live out the life you want to live in your memories before you pass away. Like, that, that's like your dying wish. That's, that's what they they, they uh, built it on. So, like, with Johnny, he wanted to go to the moon. You know, that was his dying wish. Or, um, I can't believe I forget his name. He wanted to, in, in Finding Paradise, he wanted to not have any regrets, like have a more fulfilling life without changing a thing. So, <clears throat> you know, this is maybe, this makes me think this is like where they're like, hey, we just pivot, like Precious said, pivot to where it's like, hey, you can do this, but it's going to be the last thing you do. So, are the, are the machines killing people? Like, did Johnny... And the other guy in Finding Paradise, did they die because of their condition in old age? Or did the machines kill them? Hmm. I'll try not to be too much more. I don't want this to be a like, long episode. It feels like it's going to be shorter, but most of them are like seven. <clears throat> seven episodes long. They chase her. They catch her. She quits. That looks like she quit. Now she's walking down the street. I mean, how would you feel if, like, your dream and everything that you're chasing is it killed somebody and killed somebody you were getting pretty close to? Hey, you're back early. What's wrong? I want to go. You want to go live at the residence? No. I want to go see the world with you. quit her job because her dream killed somebody like imagine like you're chasing this dream and you're trying to better the world and all you do is kill somebody and all your hard work just gets thrown out the window I mean that's it's rough to deal with
now. Ah, memory links in this one. There it is. Eiffel Tower. <clears throat> no, she lost. She feels like she lost her dream, but. Get to see the world now with Quincy. But she's making memories. This is Stonehenge. She's making memories for a lifetime now. <laughs> I mean, but like, it's like one of those things. Like she gave up on, like she gave up on her dream, and she's seen the world with you know Quincy, and that's great and all. I was just thinking like the worst. Like <laughs> that's what these games do. Great Wall of China. Man. These are excellent, excellent memory plates. Like you can't. Those, those are probably the greatest memory links you can ever have. <laughs> She's like, quit. Up, so I'm like, God, this is all gonna be ripped from her, isn't it? It's all gonna be just. Ah! <laughs> he just falls. Oh. So it looks like they're in Italy. I guess it's what it Hey, Quince. I'm glad we went on this trip. They just went on one big trip. Oh, man. We'll come back again one day. Or maybe this is just one trip. It, it, it took her losing her dream, losing out on her dream, but she got to see so much of the world. Henry? <clears throat> she get she get sick? What's going on here? Are you alright? Yeah. Just a bit of air sick from the bumpy flight, I think. Are you sure? I've never seen you get air sick before. I'll give you your doctor a call. Let's get you checked just to be sure. <sighs> no. No. No, I don't want this to be what I'm thinking it is. No. <laughs> like, no, because, you know, it was malignant for a long time. Let's just keep it that way, please. 
please let's keep it that way pregnant she's pregnant whoa yes so it seems congratulations Pardon me, is this not planned? Um, it's baby toddlers. I mean, no, but... But... But doctor, my files... Yes, I know about your condition. Then, can I really still... Honestly? It's a legitimate concern. But, how do I put this? Most people have some form of hereditary risk factors to pass on, Winry. Now, if it's something with extreme risk like Huntington's, deterrence might be called. Deterrence might be called. But with other serious but common types, such as cancer, then it's typically not. In your rare condition, on the other hand, though also severe, it falls somewhere in between. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not exactly encouraging it, there are other issues, but this is a decision that only you two can make. So, she's got some form of cancer, I'm still not, look, so, it's some kind of form of cancer. That it looks like from Huntington's disease, maybe? I'm not sure. But apparently, she's pregnant, but because of her condition, it might kill her, or they might kill the baby, or might pass it along, like, they're gonna, like, this is heavy, like, she's gonna have to make a decision if she wants to keep the child or not, is what I'm, is what I'm guessing. Oh, gosh. I mean, do I continue? Do I save here? I don't know what time it is. I'll, um, I'll save it here. <laughs> I don't want to put too much of the story in one episode. So, something goes wrong. She spends a lot of time at the lab working and everything. And she's really chasing her dream and things start, you know, happen between her and Quincy. Things don't work out. And something goes wrong with the machine. And she, she has to, she, she kills one of her co-workers. She quits her job and goes on this wonderful, wonderful trip with Quincy that Quincy always wanted to do. And they have a great time, apparently. And uh, she's pregnant and apparently according to her, her records and her, her sickness or her condition, it's not, oh my god, there's a, there's a lot to, it's really heavy. Um, but we'll stop here. We'll go ahead and uh, save here, and uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll get back to the next episode. Uh, this is gonna be down the line when you guys see this one. So, um, thank you guys very much for watching. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. This is I I just have this heartbreaking feeling that this one is really gonna be really gonna be like a loaded loaded series like oh my gosh like I'm having a hard time keeping it together like, like just the life that she's enjoying and oh my gosh so thank you guys very much for watching like comment share and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one